Hi! You want to use Wix to build your website but aren't sure how to get started? In our Wix tutorial, we'll show you the easiest way to get a professional-looking Wix website up and running in no time. Welcome to Website Tool Tester, where we review website builders all day so you don't have to. Wix is by far the most popular website builder on WebsiteToolTester.com. Users love its modern templates, versatile add-ons, and intuitive editor. That being said, Wix's long list of customization options can make it overwhelming for beginners. That's why we've put together this step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how you can build your very own site using Wix. This tutorial will be especially useful if your website will be very small. In our case, we'll be building a single-page site. So let's get started. The first step is to sign up for Wix, which you can do in the link below this video. It's completely free to do, and you can sign up via email, Facebook, or Gmail. You'll be prompted to answer a few questions so that Wix can suggest the best options for building your site. In our case, we're going to be building a website for our own takeaway restaurant, and we've built a few websites in Wix before, but of course, choose whichever answers apply to you. Wix will then suggest one of two options. Have a site created for you using Wix's AI system, or create your own site from one of Wix's templates. We'd really only recommend Wix ADI if you want a very simple site and don't mind having a lot of design control, so let's choose the templates option. Here's where it starts to get exciting. Wix has hundreds of stunning templates to choose from. Because we said we wanted a restaurant website, Wix has automatically filtered the choices down to its food and restaurant templates, but you can actually switch to a completely different category if you want. To preview a template, hover over it and click View. You can also choose View Full Demo if you want to preview what a published site might look like or to see the mobile version of the site. Once you've found a template you like, just hover over it and click Edit. You'll then be taken to Wix's editor. Before we start making changes, let's quickly get to know the different functions here. The page we're looking at is our website's home page. All the changes you'll be making to the content, text, images, and so on, will happen within the editor. Anytime you want to add new content to your site, such as pages, menus, media, or apps, you'll be doing it in the left toolbar here. This toolbar on the right will help you tweak the appearance of your site's content, for example, to align or rotate images on your pages. Finally, at the top, you have a menu that lets you access the back end of your site. For now, the most important functions are the Undo and Redo buttons, as well as the Save button, although Autosave is enabled by default. You can also hover over the Save link to access your site history and restore previous versions of the site if needed. Let's jump straight into editing our site. Everything you see within the Wix editor, such as text, images, and backgrounds, is editable. So let's double-click and change the heading you'll see a new window called Text Settings has appeared. Here, you can change your font, font size, color, and even add effects. Deleting elements is also very simple. Just click the element to select it and click the trash icon in the right toolbar, or simply hit Delete on your keyboard. Now let's change the background image. As much as I love poke, it doesn't exactly fit in with our ramen restaurant theme, so let's double-click anywhere on the background image and choose Image. While you can upload your own images, we're simply going to choose from one of Wix's free stock libraries. Let's search for a ramen image, then select one we like. Hit Change Background, and there we have it, the first section of our homepage all complete. Let's scroll down to see what other changes need to be made. For example, let's say we want to delete this next section, or strip, as Wix calls it. To do that, click the Zoom Out and Reorder button in the top toolbar. This will take you to a zoomed-out view of your site. Click on the section you want to delete, then click the trash icon to the right of the section. What about adding a new section? Let's go back to our editor by clicking Exit Mode. In the left toolbar, we're going to click the Add button you'll see a huge list of all the different elements you can add to your page. Under the Strip item, you'll find various pre-built sections, including ones for displaying contact details and testimonials. But we're going to use one of their classic strips, 
which is essentially a blank section that we can add text and other content to. Let's change the background color so it fits in with the theme of our site. We select the strip, double-click, and then select the color option to change it to yellow. Now let's add some content to this section. Going back to the Add button in the left toolbar, we're going to choose Text, and then Heading 1, which is already pre-styled as part of our template. Drag it to where you want it to be positioned on the page, and then double-click to change the text. Let's add some text below the heading, once again by going back to the left toolbar, and this time choosing the Paragraph element. Drag it into your page, and type in your text. It's looking okay, but we really want to make it pop. Let's add a background shape. Go back to the Add toolbar, and this time choose the Decorative option. Choose your shape, and drag it over your text. First, we want to move the shape behind the text, so in your right toolbar, click the Arrange button, and choose Send to Back. Now, let's change the color by clicking the Paintbrush button above the shape, and selecting White. Adjust the shape by clicking on its border and dragging it out. That's looking a lot better. If you want to include a gallery of images on your page, that can easily be done. Once again, using your left toolbar, click the Add button and select Gallery. You'll have a ton of gallery options to choose from. Our template already includes an image gallery, so we just want to make a few changes to it. Click on it, and then click the Settings button to choose a different layout for displaying your images. To change the images, click the Manage Media button. Let's choose Select All, and then delete all the images. Click Add Media. You can then choose Upload Media to add your own images, or select some from Wix's stock photo collection. So let's do another search for ramen images. To select multiple images, hold down the Shift key as you click your selected images. Before your images get added to your page, you'll notice some options on the right here to change the title and description of each image, which is a good idea to do for SEO. You can also add a link to each image if you'd like. No website is complete without a contact form, so let's see how to add one. In the left toolbar, we're going to choose the Add option again, and this time select Contact and Forms. Let's choose the form that best fits in with our design. We'll drag it to the bottom of our page, just above the footer. Now let's edit some of these fields. We want to change the title of this field, so let's click on it. Select the Edit Field button, and change the title in this new pop-up. To add a new field, click on your form, and then on the Add New Field button. Choose the type of field you want to add in, and once again, edit the title as needed. To change the appearance of your form, click on it, and then hit the Paintbrush button. Click Customize Design, and you'll be able to change colors, fonts, and even the design of your Submit button. Once you're happy with how your site looks, and have all your elements and content in place, there's one important step you need to take. Wix sites don't come 100% mobile ready by default, so we'll need to make a few small adjustments. In the top toolbar, you'll notice a mobile icon in the middle of the screen. Click on it to switch to the mobile view of your site. As you can see, some of the elements are misplaced. First, let's click the Page Layout Optimizer button in the left menu, and then Optimize Now to let Wix automatically fix some of the elements. If there are still elements that don't look right, such as the placement of text or the height of your sections, you can manually fix them by dragging them to where they should be. Any changes you make in the mobile version won't affect your desktop site, so feel free to delete or hide any unnecessary elements, or even reorder sections by clicking the arrow icons on the right. We're on the home stretch now. The last step is completely optional, but it's a good idea if you want users to find your site in Google. In the top menu, click Settings. Choose the Business Info option. Here you can add your contact details, business address, and your site's regional settings, such as language and currency. 
Next, go back to Settings and choose Get Found on Google. This will take you to Wix's SEO wizard, which will walk you through the steps for optimizing your site. Once done, you'll be presented with your tailored SEO plan. We recommend going through each step to optimize your site and maximize your chances of getting traffic through Google. Congratulations, you've made it to the last step. Before you publish your site, let's make sure it's all looking okay. Hit the preview button in the top right of your screen and check that you're happy with both the desktop and mobile versions of your site. If there are any elements from the original template that you don't want to keep, go ahead and delete them. Also, make sure the footer is updated with your details. The banner ad at the top of your page will display if you keep your website on Wix's free plan. If you want to remove it and access features such as using your own domain, you can upgrade to one of Wix's paid plans, which start at around $14 a month. You can find more information underneath the video. Once you're satisfied that everything looks okay, click the green Back to Editor button at the top right of the screen. Now, let's go ahead and hit that Publish button. And that's it! Your Wix site is now live! In the pop-up, click View Site to take a look at your published website. If you'd like to use your own domain instead of the free one given to you by Wix, click Upgrade Now to select one of Wix's paid plans. We've shown you how to set up a basic website with Wix, but there are so many more things you can do with it. If you need extra features, such as a blog, booking forms, member pages, or even an online store, we'd recommend checking out Wix's Help Center, where you'll find all the answers you need. Thanks for watching our Wix tutorial. For more information about Wix and other website builders, please check out WebsiteToolTester.com.